Just summer league. Right? Yeah, I, know, I was gonna say, man, you guys were a summer league juggernaut last year. I mean, how do you, how do you feel about uh, you know taking over the? Well, the bar is set pretty high. Um, at the end of the day, um, we're just trying to win our game. So, don't, never going to a game saying we're going to lose. So, we're always going with the mindset that we're going to win. So, that's our mindset and our approach in every single game. Um, can we go 5-0? and That's the goal. So. You have a, a lot of those first-year contract guys, uh, Trey Jose in there. Just what's kind of the, you know, the plan with them going into this thing? Uh, obviously, the practices are absolutely crucial for their development to continue to build on what they established last year. And then um, as far as games go, we'll, we'll pull it out. Um, they're not going to play a full slate, I can say that going in. Um, but Trey, Nazi, Jose, um, obviously Jose is with the Puerto Rican national team right now. Um, he'll be joining us next week. Um, so we'll just just kind of fill it out. But these practices are absolutely crucial, um, obviously for them as far as their development and also just using their voice even more. I mean, their leaders on this team continue to uh, grow in that aspect. What did, uh, how, did, how did some of those young guys look today? Like to really good. Draft picks? Really good. Um, Dyson was really, really good. Uh, EJ, Carlo, they uh, they all did really, really well. Um, you know, they're picking up our, our, our language. There's so much teaching, especially in this first practice, as far as um, you know, what's our verbiage, um, where they need to be on the floor. So just allowing them to understand where they need to be and then just allowing them their skills to take over from there. Um, so you don't want them out there thinking, um, you know, just going out there and just playing basketball. But all of them did a really good job, um, really good energy, um, really high motors, and high, high basketball IQ guys. Last year you guys were able to kind of lay, you know, I know with Willie coaching, you guys were able to lay like the foundation for what, what happened into the season. How important is that part of, of, of some of the It's absolutely crucial, quite frankly. Um, you know, because like, as you said, um, you know, all of our young guys from last year, and you saw how important they were for us coming down the stretch, um, making the playoff run that we did. Um, so with all of our guys, um, this is an important time of year. Again, going back to the foundation that we built, um, we continue to grow from there. Jason, uh, you know, he said he's comfortable, you know, playing on the ball or on the wing. You know, he did a little bit of both from the ignite. What kind of role do you see him in play? All of the above. I mean, a lot of the basketball that we play is interchangeable, um, one through five, um, or one through four in particular. Um, he can play some small ball five as well. So um, his versatility um, right now is is a plus, and we're going to put him in different spots on the floor. He can play out of the post offensively. He can play in pick and rolls. He can do so much um, as a basketball player. And um, but it starts with. Competition, defending, and getting out and running um, for Dyson and for everybody else. What about EJ? I'm sorry? EJ Liddell? Yeah, yeah. His, your thoughts on him? I know he was supposed to be a late first round pick just to have him and, and the skill set that he brings. Yeah, just a really high motor, um, really good energy. Um, he's picking everything up. Uh, he's playing well, competing. Again, it was just one practice, but. Um, you know, the mindset that he approached practice with and all of our guys approached practice with, that's how you get better. Um, he was locked in and uh, really good first day.